Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Relzor and here's an updated salvage guide. Previous video link is in the description down below. I want to cover a few things that I didn't mention in that video since it was catered more for newer players. So with that being said, today I'll be covering the gem store salvage kits and optimizing your profit. I've separated the three rarities and put the salvage kits you'll use next to them along with the loot you're salvaging them for in hopes to make things nice and clear. First we have blue items. You want to salvage these with either the copper fed salvage medic or a basic salvage kit. Both of these salvage kits give a 10% chance of rare materials and a 20% chance of salvaging upgrades. The chance of rare materials means how likely you are to get a higher tier material than you normally would. For example, instead of getting copper ore, I might get iron ore instead. It also means you have a higher chance of getting more of that material, so instead of one iron ore, I might get three iron ores. The chance for salvaging upgrades means the chance to salvage runes or sigils inside of the item I'm salvaging. We'll talk more about that when we get to the green items. The reason you want to use either a copper fed salvage matic or a basic salvage kit is because these items don't yield much loot when salvaged. They're just the basic items. Next we have green items. You'll salvage these with a rune crafter salvage kit. Currently there are no counterparts to this salvage kit and if you're wanting to maximize profit you'll want to get one of these from the gem store. This salvage kit has a 20% chance for rarer materials and a 100% chance for salvaging upgrades. That means every single time that I salvage an item with a rune or a sigil, you'll also salvage the rune or sigil inside the item, guaranteed. The reason we use this on green items is because all green items in the game have runes or sigils inside of them, and salvaging the rune slash sigils gives us a chance to receive symbols and lucent motes. The lucent motes don't sell for much at the moment, but the symbols do. They sell for quite a large amount of gold, some selling for over 1 gold each. These are kind of rare though, so don't expect to get multiple of these after a few salvages. Next are yellow items. These can be salvaged by the Silver Fed Salvage Kit, the Master's Salvage Kit, or the Mystic Salvage Kit. All of these have a 25% chance for rare materials and an 80% chance on salvaging upgrades. The main reason we use these salvage kits on yellow items is for that extra 5% chance of rarer materials, because salvaging yellow items can yield ectoplasms that sell for a decent price on the trading post and are used for almost every crafting recipe in the game. If you're not sure how to get a mystic salvage kit, you can put a fine salvage kit, a journeyman salvage kit, a master's salvage kit and three mystic stones into the mystic forge to create a mystic salvage kit with 250 uses. Exotic items can be salvaged by the same salvage kit you use on yellow gear, however I'd recommend checking the price of the exotic and comparing it to the price of ectoplasms first. And if you do want to salvage, I'd also highly recommend using a black lion salvage kit if you have one. Now for any new players watching, the copper fed salvage medic, the rune crafters salvage kit and the silver fed salvage kit are all gem store items. The copper fed salvage kit is always available in the gem store while the other two are on a cycle, they leave and return rather frequently. If you're looking to buy one of these salvage kits and you can only get one, I have two options for you. Option number one is convenience. If you want to prioritize quality of life, then get the copper fed salvage kit, since it's the one you'll be using the most to clear all the lower tier loot out of your bags. Option number two is profit. If you want to prioritize profit, I'd get the Runecrafter's Salvage Kit first, since it's a unique item and you'll never be able to get a Salvage Kit that has the same stats. Using the Runecrafter's Salvage Kit will also net you quite a nice amount of profit if you loot any symbols. Thanks for watching everyone, my name is Relzor and I'll see you next time.